Yours truly, Diamond K, in here alongside my father. How you doing, Dad? Hey, I'm great, man. Great. A lot of things, uh, interesting times we live in. Yes, it, yes, it is. yes, <laughs> yes. Only in America. It's the words of Don King. Yeah. Only in America. Because we got that, it's, <laughs> Hey, it's happening. It's happening. So, um, this this first story, I'm gonna dive right in. Uh, this first story out of Boston, and fifty people, including some Hollywood stars, mm -hmm. uh, Felicity Huffman and Lori Lolan, were charged today in a scheme in which wealthy parents allegedly bribe college coaches and other insiders to get their kids. In some of the country's most elite schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So authorities are calling this the biggest college admission scam ever prosecuted. Uh, parents are accused of paying an estimated $25 million in bribes. $25 And this has been going on. You notice how you, how you, you said uh, uh, the federal authorities called it the biggest college administrative scam ever prosecuted. Not done. That's true. But prosecuted. <laughs> okay. Because they've been doing it all along, you know. And, uh, yes, you know, they, ha they have people taking tests for them, mm. paying, you know. So that's where the money's coming out. Hey, uh, X amount of dollars, take this uh, SAT for my son. You know what I mean? And this, all kinds of scams. But it, it just shows you how important they, uh, it is to have that paper. They feel you have, that, have your name on that paper. Mm. Uh, and you said earlier. You know, you know, Trump didn't. Uh, Trump did the same thing. Father Absolutely. did the that's same. Why, Father that's paid. Why he locked down his, uh, his right his, his his grades. Right, and if and, and the ones that you get, he didn't do them anyway. <laughs> Father paid somebody right, to do the test right, anyway. Right. He told he told his son, "Listen, son, if you can read and write, spell, add, subtract, and follow my directions, you'll be set for life." You know right. what I mean? And. Uh, yeah, and, and, and that's exactly exactly right. So, um, uh, U.S. attorney said these parents are a catalog of wealth and privilege. So that's just you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's you describing Trump. It's just mm -hmm. privilege. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he and, and the ironic thing locally here in Baltimore, they're doing they go they they having a scandal in the Baltimore city schools where they said that. Um, the uh, teachers have been passing these students, uh, padding grades, uh, passing people on. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing new under the sun. Right. Things been going on all along, right. and uh, they. But they. But let me tell you, they. Go, this. This is going to be a story that we talk about right now for a couple of days. The story about black kids being promoted. Uh, unfairly is going to be perpetuated to all year. Yeah, exactly, all year. <laughs> you know, all year. So this, I mean, this, this is, and this is pretty big. So at least nine coaches, thirty-three parents, many of them prominent in law, finance, or business, are among those charged, and um, dozens more were uh, charged or corrected, arrested by uh midday today uh schools like yale stanford georgetown wake forest university of texas university of southern california uh and university of los angeles and you notice they said they're not going to do anything to the to the schools no you know, right you know uh they're uh, the victim they're yeah, the victims yeah but, but but watch what happens in baltimore city schools when they get some of these teachers they're going to prosecute them. And they did oh, the no same God. thing in uh, Georgia uh, uh, schools uh, in Atlanta a few years ago where they arrested certain teachers and said that they were passing students uh, unfairly. They arrested them. And uh, I don't have to tell you what color they were. They were black. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so, uh, yeah. yeah. And it's, 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 it's sad when you look at it, when you think about it, because uh, for every student admitted through this fraud, an honest student probably a black student, genuinely talented student, was rejected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, 
They said that the parents spent anywhere from 200K to 6.5 million to guarantee their children's admission. I graduated from Yale. <laughs> but what did about you Yale? really? Yeah. <laughs> Harvard, man, here. You know, and uh, that, that, they want to be able to say that. Yeah. You know, paid, yeah. Paid a lot of money for that. So yeah. I, I, um, when, when the story came, um, you know, this, I, I didn't know who this lady was. She, so mm-hmm. she's an actress. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you seen her before? Vaguely. It looks yeah. familiar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So she, she's one of the ladies. He's going down. Um, as they say, she's going to be known as zero dash one dash four, whatever her number is going to be. She, she ain't going to get no real time, though. right? Exactly, you know, exactly. White, white collar crimes don't get that much time unless unless you take a lot of people's money, like uh, Madoff. Mm-hmm. And he got some time, mm-hmm. but generally speaking, mm-hmm. they don't. And no students were charged. Students didn't know what was going on uh, for the most part. The part that really that that really um, was low to me before we move on is that pa- a prosecutor said that the parents were also instructed to claim that their children had learning disabilities so they could take the SAT by themselves with extended time that mm-hmm. made it easier for them to pull off the tampering mm-hmm. and the uh, deception. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey. <laughs> they, and, and then some of them uh, Didn't they say some of them were uh, Claimed that they were athletes Yeah and they didn't get, play no get, sport. sport Yeah get, <laughs> get a sports scholarship You know what I mean uh, I got uh, you know uh, 25,000 if my son get a scholarship A sports scholarship you know uh, you know, was, you know, we got some room in the uh, Soccer program you know how to play soccer. But, but maybe know. that's why so many of those guys Are um, um what do you call them? Cheerleaders. <laughs> so, the, so the white guys, cheerleaders. I guess they got the sports. Uh, they, what do you, he said, look, we don't, we don't have any, any any vacancies in the sports department, but we got a whole lot of room for male mascot. cheerleaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be a mascot. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and they probably is going to college and being a mascot. Yeah. Like that's, oh, goodness. 